Uh, here we have made a kit uh, in which we have demonstrated. Uh, so whenever we drive a vehicle uh, and whenever we switch on an indicator, sometimes we forget to uh, switch off uh, the indicator or sometimes the indicator is running for a very long time. So we have made a kit in which uh, the indicator turns off uh, automatically once the turn is complete. So this is how we have made the kit and we have used uh, infrared sensors uh, to demonstrate the same. So here we have two buttons uh, for left and right. So suppose your uh, vehicle is running on uh, for right side. So you will have to turn on the indicator and then as you can see once the uh, turn is complete the indicator turns off automatically and if we press the left button so as you can see once the turn is complete the indicator turns off automatically so this is how the kit works and uh, you can order this kit from our site kitscrew.com where you'll get two versions of the kit one is where you'll get uh, this complete ready-made kit and the other one is where you'll get a complete self-assembly kit with the help of our video tutorials you'll be able to complete the kit by yourself in this section of the video we'll see what all components are used in this kit how to assemble those components on the pcb and how does this kit work and then also we'll understand the check uh, how to check the power supplies so first we'll see how this kit works so here we have uh, given the power supply through an adapter and this is the on off switch which controls the power to the entire unit as you can see a bridge rectifier is used in case you are giving a power supply through a transformer we need to convert the ac power supply into dc and then a uh, capacitor is used which acts as a filter to uh, remove all the repulses in the uh, output produced by the uh, bridge rectifier and a parallel power supply is given to the other uh, comparator ic unit as you can see so this is a parallel power supply given uh, to the uh, the other pcb and then uh, an led which indicates the power supply so this uh, so this is a basic uh, section of the power supply here and then we have a 40 pin microcontroller uh, which receives the input and then uh, then uh, takes the action and uh, does the um, output as programmed so this microcontroller works on a clock frequency for that we have given a crystal oscillator and two uh, ceramic capacitors of 33 picofarad in order to start the oscillation process and this is the uh, uh, the, the, these are the two buttons which acts as the indicator so whenever we press this buttons the microcontroller gets the signal and then uh, switch uh, powers the corresponding indicator uh, or the LED bulb and here we have a comparator IC circuit so we have uh, the IR transmitters here these are the IR transmitters and these are the IR uh, infrared receivers so whenever uh, we switch on the indicator and whenever we move these uh, transmitters so what happens is the transmitter is continuously transmitting IR rays and these are the receivers which captures it so once the cycle once this particular uh, receives uh, the signal and then this receives a signal and then this receives a signal again so the cycle is complete it means that the turn is over so the uh, indicator is automatically turned off so that is how it works so what happens is uh, the comparator ic here uh, it compares the uh, voltage now it has four uh, operational amplifiers four op amps so this converts the analog signals into digital signals and then uh, these uh, the data from all the four sensors are received at uh, here uh, on each pin and then send uh, the, the digital data sent to the microcontroller and then uh, that particular uh, microcontroller then takes the output and uh, switches off the indicator so this is how the kit works so now we have to see how the uh, components have to be assembled so this is a blank pcb this is the top part and this is the bottom part and the technology that we use is called a through hole technology in which we insert components we drill holes throughout the uh, pcb and insert the components from the top and then uh, solder the components on the bottom so i'll keep this pcb in line with the current pcb so that we can understand the alignment of each and every component uh, starting off with the two pin connector for the power supply so this is the two pin connector base and then a voltage regulator IC because most of the most of the components on this kit works on 5 volts so this is the voltage regulator IC the the left pin is the first pin that is the input pin then ground and then third pin on the is the output 5 volt pin so while inserting we have to ensure that we are facing the front face of the voltage regulator IC 
then a potentiometer is used uh, this is in order to com uh, compare or uh, set the sensitivity of the uh, sensors and then this is the lm324 ic base and this is the ic so as you will see there is a notch on the top of it so the pin which is on the left of the notch is a pin number 1 and then counting counterclockwise uh, counting counterclockwise uh, the pin on the right side of the notch is a pin number 14 this is how the counting is done for an IC so first you will see that the notch here on the IC is on the left side so first we will uh, insert the base with the notch on the left side uh, base is used so that we can uh, replace the IC in the future or we can protect the IC during soldering process and the IC is placed over the notch here uh, over the base and then a uh, 4 pin connector is used here for the digital output and you will see 4 different resistors these are to control the uh, output to the uh, comparator IC uh, these four resistors are used for the four sensors these are the resistors of 10k with color code brown black and orange uh, and also a five pin here uh, in order to connect the sensors to uh, the particular uh, LN324 IC we have another base here for five pin so that has to be inserted here so this completes the assembly of the uh, uh, IC uh, LM324 IC PCB uh, coming on to the main PCB so this is the main PCB I'll keep this also in line with the current PCB so first starting off the power jack and then an on off switch on off switch does not have any polarity and then a bridge rectifier, uh, bridge rectifier has 4 terminals, 2 AC input and 2 DC output terminals so while inserting we have to ensure that the uh, positive terminal is on the top, bottom right side and then an electrolytic capacitor is used, even this has polarity the stem which is longer in length is a positive terminal in case both the stems are, uh, are of equal length then uh, there is a strip on the uh, capacitor which indicates that, that is a negative terminal so while inserting we have to ensure that the positive terminal of the capacitor is in line with the positive terminal of the bridge rectifier so it will be on the right side then a 2 pin connector another 2 pin connector to give a parallel power supply and then a voltage regulator IC it has to be inserted in such a way that we are facing the third pin of the IC and then uh, uh, an LED is used power indicator LED so an LED has a polarity stem which is longer in length is a positive terminal in case both the stems are of equal length uh, the uh, bulb of the LED gets flat on the negative end so while inserting we have to ensure that we are facing the negative end and along with the LED we have to insert a resistor of 1k in order to protect the LED this has a color code of brown black and red so this completes the section of the power supply then we will insert the IC base the notch is on the bottom side so we will insert the IC base in such a way that the notch is on the bottom bottom side and we will place the IC over it here and then uh, this works on a clock frequency so we have to insert a crystal oscillator of 16 megahertz and two ceramic capacitors of 33 picofarad in parallel and then a micro switch is used in order to reset the microcontroller and a resistor of 10k is used to pull up the micro switch and then two another two micro switches are used here uh, these are for the indicators and a 4 pin connector a 4 pin connector base uh, for receiving the input for the microcontroller and then 
Now this is a network register, so it is a cluster of eight different registers of 10k each. So while inserting, we have to ensure that uh, the dot is towards the microcontroller side. So that is very important. The dot side has to be present towards the microcontroller side, and then uh, another two pin, two two pin connectors, one here and the other one here for connecting the uh, indicators and along with these uh, LEDs we have to in insert the two corresponding resistors of 1k each so after finishing or uh, after completing the uh, assembly of the components you have to check the power supplies for that we use a digital multimeter the black terminal is a common terminal which has to be connected to the body of the voltage regulator ic and the first pin of the ic should show five should show the input power supply third pin should show 5 volts the 40th pin on the microcontroller should show 5 volts and then here the pin which is inside is the the pin which is inside is the uh, positive ter terminal which has to be connected to the pin which is inside here for a parallel power supply see as you can see this is the pin which is inside which is getting a power positive supply and here also the pin which is inside is getting the power positive power supply so the transmitters have, have to be powered through a battery as you can see we have powered it through, through a battery the positive terminal of all the sensors now a sensor is also like an led so the uh, stem which is longer in length is a positive terminal so this positive terminals of all the receivers uh, are grounded here at one point as you can see the, they are grounded and the negative terminals are uh, connected to one each terminal uh, which is which acts as a signal indicator or which uh, through which the signal is sent to the lm324 ic base and and then uh, these two are connected parallelly in any direction that is not an issue so as you can see these are one two three four here one two three four here so this is how the connections are done so uh, once you have finished the connections you can uh, start your kit and insert your ic and start your kit so you can order this kit from our website kitskuru.com where you'll get two versions of the kit one is where you'll get a complete ready-made kit and the other one is where you'll get a knockdown kit and with the help of our tutorials you'll be able to um, complete the kit by yourself. Mm -hmm.